today we are going to talk about few of the essential things that you should know if you're preparing for gate examination now these are the things that are absolute must that you should follow think of it like a checklist that you have to follow if you want to perform good in gate examination or you're looking for something like masters or government job through this examination so certainly follow these things now i've already made a good plan which you can follow for the next of the four months there are a lot of things that i've talked about revision strategy a lot of things that i've talked about test series you can certainly follow that but these are think of it like a checklist that you have to follow so number one being keep a target that you have to give full length test series by mid of December. It would be good if you can start giving from the early December itself, but at least keep mid of December as dead end that you have to start giving full length test series. Keep a target that at least two full length test series I'm going to give in the month of December, preferably four. But if you keep all the full length test series for the month of January and you are appearing for the first time, let us say, it would be too much for you to take because what if you find out that there are a lot of limitations and there are a lot of subjects that you need to work upon, there are a lot of things that you're forgetting in the month of January, it will be terrible for you. So have a target that you are going to start giving full length test series by 15th of December. Any branch of engineering will be having five to six major subjects. Have a target that you are going to finish all of these major subjects by the end of September or at least by the mid of October. That is an absolute must because then there are minor subjects also. Minor subjects will be taking a lot lesser time but still they will be comprising of somewhere around 40% of the question paper. So it is very important for you to be done with the major subjects and always have the priority that I'm going to finish the major subjects first and then the minor subjects, especially when you are having a choice. So that will also be an absolute must that you have to keep a target that you should finish your major subjects by the mid of October or preferably by September itself. There are two things that should have already started by now. And if you have not started them, start it right now now number one being that you should have started giving subject wise test series now subject wise test series is a good way to test all the subjects that you have covered so far so all the people who are serious about gate examination the four to five subjects are already done so for you guys please start giving subject wise test series you cannot leave it all till the end and also check it all your gate previous year questions at least should be done for all the subjects that you have covered so far these are the things that are absolute must that you have to cover so if you have not started giving subject wise test series the time is right now all the subjects that you have covered please start giving subject wise test series please pay attention from now on 30 percent of your time should be going into revision you have already covered few subjects few more subjects are to be covered but at least 30 percent of time should be getting into revision otherwise whatever you have studied so far it's all going to be futile what you have to do from now on is divide your daily study plan 70 percent of time towards studying something new maybe solving questions maybe giving test series but 30 percent of the time should be utilized towards revision and that is also very very possible with subject wise test series revise a particular subject and then give subject wise test series of that subject like we have already discussed in cyclic revision but if you're still in the parallel revision part you can keep on doing that as well in this 30 percent of time now this percentage of time that you invest towards revision will keep on increasing as you go closer and closer towards examination in october and november it will become somewhere around 40 percent in december it will become somewhere around 60 percent in january it will become 100 percent revision so you should keep in your mind the closer you get to the examination the more time you will be investing towards a revision because more is the amount of subject that is already completed pretty logical right last definitely not the least most important one is the consistency that you're going to need for the next four months whatever your excuse is semester examination campus placement my job going on whatever it might be you're not consistent you're not going to crack this examination so this should be your primary target at least somewhere around 
two hours I'm going to give to my competitive examination in the worst case scenario. Let us say tomorrow is my semester examination. But in any case, you have to invest time in the best case scenario, invest somewhere around eight to 12 hours. If more, better you are. But you cannot stop your preparation. And this will be the most difficult time. These four months will be the most difficult time for you to continue your preparation or not lose any consistency it will be the most difficult for you to maintain the consistency because i know semester examinations are going to come campus placements are going to come people are having their own work who are preparing along with job but these are all ultimately excuses because if you do not maintain your consistency you are not going to perform well my friends and you are going to also forget a lot of things that you have studied as well so please keep in your mind that you have to maintain consistency that is the primary target for you guys right now if gate is your primary target and then everything else has to be adjusted accordingly those were the five points that you should certainly take care of matter of fact write it down on a piece of paper and stick it on your wall so that you're always reminded that's about it see you next time if any questions put it down in the comment section until then bye